Hola amigos, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emma Bennett and I write contemporary romance and today I was just wanting to chat with you about the end of Camp Nano and overall what my first experience of Camp Nano was like. So I even have, I have facts and figures here for you all written down. That is how organised I am today. I'm also keeping half an eye on my dog Paris because he is looking like he's in a troublesome mood. He always looks like he's in a troublesome mood, but especially so today. So one eye on him at all times. So yes, this April was my first Camp Nano. My first NaNoWriMo was last November. Um, and my main project that I decided to do for Camp Nano was a book about how to win NaNoWriMo. And that's just because I was so nervous about doing my first NaNoWriMo that I did a ridiculous amount of research into strategies to make it easier, how to get the highest word count in the time I had available, that kind of thing. And I thought it would be really fun to pass that on. Unfortunately, I didn't have any time at all to prep for Camp Nano. I was aware that this was going to be an issue, so I set myself a word count of just 30,000 words rather than the 50,000 that I wrote for NaNoWriMo. I really, really, really should have tried to find some time to do some planning because the main problem that I found is that what I needed to put in my book about winning Camp NaNoWriMo wasn't anywhere near 30,000 words worth of information. And I didn't just want to kind of waffle on and write thousands of words that weren't important to what people actually need to know. I like to be concise. I like to give people the information that they need and not a load of extras. I find that frustrating myself when I'm reading a book, if there's just a load of stuff that I don't need, in a non-fiction book, I mean. So I didn't want that to be the case. The other issue is that, for some reason, I honestly don't know why, I decided that I was going to write this project, the first draft of it, completely on my phone using Google Docs, which I'd never even used on my phone before. So that was super fun. Anyway, so project one will, uh, is what we will call the um, nano project. And that came in in the end at 14,347 words. I was happy with that. What I didn't count in that word count is um, any quotes that I was given by writers because I asked writers to email me with any of their own tips or tricks or any stories that they had about their own nano experiences. So I'm not including those bits in my word count because I didn't write those bits myself. I just kind of added them into the document. So I figured that they didn't really count. So obviously I was very down on the word count that I needed, even if I had the time to write masses more. I didn't actually have anything else that I needed to say for that project. So I decided to start another project. Um, project two was um, a book um, about making the most of Twitter um, as a writer. So this is something that I'd been planning to write for a couple of months, hadn't got around to it. So I thought this is a perfect opportunity. Um, and I had great fun writing that. It was only the nano one that I actually did on my phone because that was the one I said I do on my phone. Um, so the Twitter for writers came in at 8,143 words. Yeah, that was really good. I enjoyed writing that one, actually. That was fun. Um, you know, it's not hugely long, but I will be publishing it in the next couple of months. And I just hope it will be useful to people. It is absolutely full of all the information I wish that I'd had over the past 10 years that I've been messing around on Twitter and basically getting nowhere. Project three then, as I still hadn't reached my word count, was a short story. I just fancied writing a short story that the first draft is finished. Um, and I'm actually going to work on that a little bit later today, actually, because I do want to finish it. So that came in at 2,073 words, still not enough words. So project number four, um, this was a small project. This was a handout that I wanted to do for the new writing class that I have started teaching. It was a handout all about flash fiction, the history of it and tips on how to write it. That came in at 941 words. Still not enough. So project number five then was um, I began writing a 
sequel to my book the one that got away this is just going to be a novella and i'm writing it because i read a review of the one that got away where the reader said that they wished that they'd seen my hero and heroine iris and sergio get married so i thought you know what I could write that. That's no problem. So that is a very rough first draft that I've got down of that. Um, and that is at 5,492 words, which means that my total word count for Camp Nano April 2023 was 30,996 words, which I was very pleased with. Um, there were definitely points during um, camp that I wondered whether I was actually going to manage to do it. But what really pushed me through, apart from me being really obstinate, was that I was there writing a book, How to Win NaNoWriMo. I couldn't write that during camp and then not manage to complete camp. So, yeah, that definitely pushed me through. And I needed to be a little bit creative about how I got those words in. But it ended up being fun. And I am so glad that I did it. And I definitely achieved a lot more in April writing-wise than I would have done if I hadn't been attempting Camp Nano. However, I definitely will not be attempting another camp without doing some sort of prep beforehand. That was really, really silly. And I'm very cross with myself about that. I could have found a few hours over a couple of evenings to just kind of jot down some ideas and make some plans. And it would have made things so much easier. And just from the point of view that I would have known that my book on NaNoWriMo wouldn't be long enough to cover the 30,000 words. So I would have just been able to come up with some backups earlier, which would have saved me a lot of time and angst. So, yeah, there we go. There's the roundup. I'm really pleased that I attempted it. I'm very pleased that I managed to win at Camp NaNoWriMo. A little bit surprised as well. And I'm already planning a little bit of a different project for July Camp Nano. So please pop down in the comments what your camp was like, if you attempted it, what you were working on, what your final word count was. I would absolutely love to hear all about your projects. Please remember to boot the like button if you haven't already. It makes such a difference to my channel and subscribe if you're not because we have a lot of fun over here and I would love to have you hang around a little bit more and I will catch you in the next one.